Hello everyone, I'm starting today's vlog with a mess. This is what happens every time I try to film a fashion reel. And now that the fun part is over, it's time to clean up. Today is the day that I part ways with my eye mag. I'm gonna be meeting up with the buyer in a bit, so I'm gonna be bringing it downstairs. I'm not even sad for selling it, but somehow I just feel kind of bad for saying it out loud. I feel like I cheated on my eye mag for this laptop. Ever since I got this MacBook, I hardly ever reach to my iMac anymore. And once in a while, I only use it for like, playing music or web browsing, which is such a waste considering that it's a really powerful device. So I decided to sell it before the new model comes out and before the value decrease even more. I think it's a good call. What I'm thinking for my setup right now is actually to get an external monitor instead so that I can plug in my MacBook when I'm home and bring this little guy around when I'm out and about. I think that works better for me because I really do feel bad for not using my iMac as much as I used to. So I also want to unbox this with you guys. This is from the brand Lofree. They let me pick out a keyboard from their website, which is perfect because I can use this for my new setup. Ta -da! This is the Milk Tea Dot Mechanical Keyboard and I like how it's raised at the back so that it's very comfortable to type on. Okay, I've connected both to my laptop. It feels so nice, like it has some weight to it. Look how cute it is. You can also adjust the brightness of the keyboard. What else? And this keyboard is also rechargeable which is what I like about it. I want to get like a little laptop stand to prop my screen up so that it's easier to use with my keyboard set. But yeah, thank you so much to Lofree for sending this to me. I will link it in my description box if you guys want to check them out. I'm gonna use some Thai sauce as my dressing. Hmm. Oh my Demon Slayer is not the best yeah, show to eat with.
actually going out to a cafe to work with my friends, so I'm packing my bag now. and some cosmetic stuffs with my eye drop inside. Also, just a little disclaimer, I'm not crazy big on superstition, but if it's something simple, then I simply would not do because I don't, I, just in case, I don't want anything bad to happen. I know you're not supposed to sleep facing a mirror, but in my last vlog, a few of you told me that it's also bad feng shui to sleep facing the window which was what I did so after seeing your comment I decided to switch it around and I decided to sleep with my head that side instead so I'm facing inward but my AC started dripping all of a sudden it hasn't happened in a while like for the past few months when my bed was that side so I ended up having to switch it back but this morning I decided to switch it on again just to test it out one more time before we call like any want to come and fix it i have a towel there just in case but it's working fine now and there's no dripping and another thing is that my door my doorknob was working fine the whole time and this morning it just all of a sudden stopped working like i can't even close my door now i don't know if i'm being dramatic or there's something going on but yeah let's go I actually wasn't expecting this vlog to turn into somewhat like a desk makeover because I wasn't thinking that I was gonna get a monitor so soon but I got a new monitor and it's white it's so cute I was doing some research on which monitor to get and the Samsung M5 just kept popping out it's really sleek the bezel is super thin so I was actually eyeing on that but I looked up the price it's around 3.5k ringgit and I wasn't planning to spend so much on just a monitor but I found out a cheaper alternative which is the M5 and it's more than enough for my usage it's still pretty expensive for me it's around 1.4k on harvey norman but i found this second hand and i actually got this off carousel tyler and i went to pick it up last night and i got it for a really really good price the previous owner only had it for like a year and it's in perfect condition and most importantly i can now connect my switch to my monitor which is so nice because i couldn't do this with my imac previously so yeah i'm just so happy with this purchase i paid like 750 ringgit for this uh, it also comes with a little controller it's basically like a smart tv but you can also use it as a external monitor for your other stuff you can also use it as a pc monitor i believe and it has built-in speaker which is really important for me because i really didn't want to spend 
more on like external speakers so yeah wow this sounds like an ad i'm just really happy that i bought this um second hand <laughs> my desk is not looking very cute right now yeah it's really messy my little external lighting here i still haven't tried to connect my mac to it i looked it up online it's it seems pretty easy i think it shouldn't be a problem and i also want to decorate my that's a little with the decor pieces that I already have because I, I think I have more than enough I'm just gonna make do with what I have and see if I can make this space a lot cuter than what it looks like now done setting up my desk now it doesn't really look that different except for my monitor but yeah this is what it looks like right now thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you in my next one bye bye